What is up YouTube? Today we're talking about how to make a Funko Pop head specifically, and then later we'll work on the rest of the body in Blender 3.0. The first thing you wanna do is go to the link in the description to go to the Funko Pop website to design yourself as a reference image for this tutorial. It can be helpful to start this out with just a bald character so you can easily get the shape of the image and then add the hair, beard, and any other facialness later. So I'm gonna do just that. Coincidentally, I am bald and this already looks like me. After you've got it created, save it wherever you like to save stuff and open up Blender. Once you open up Blender, go ahead and delete the lights, delete the camera, and press the tilde to go into front view. From there, you're gonna press Shift A, go to Image, Reference, and import the reference of the Funko Pop that you made previously. You wanna do this from the front view because that way your reference will add, match the perspective. If you don't do this, you'll have to rotate the image all around and it becomes a little bit of a pain. Press the default cube, press G, Z to make that lined up with the head. We're gonna tab into edit mode. Then if you press N, this side menu will come up and then you can go to the auto mirror here and press auto mirror. If that's not available to you, go up to this left corner, click preferences, then you can go into add-ons and you can search for mirror and you gotta make sure that the mesh auto mirror is checked. The reason for doing this is so that you don't have to repeat everything since this object is gonna end up being mostly symmetrical and it will just make your life that much easier. So once you've got it mirrored, let's turn on the X-ray mode here and let's go back into object mode, press control three, and that will add a subdivision surface modifier. You can see that it'll turn the cube to make it look like this instead. I'm gonna scale on the X by pressing S, then X, pulling it out so it matches roughly the size of the head. Tab back into edit mode, bring the X-ray back on, and the shape is a little bit too circular now, so we're gonna refine that a little bit by adding a few loop cuts. So if you press Control R on a Mac, I believe it's the same on a PC, and then left click, right click, you'll center that loop cut where it was originally positioned. We're gonna do two more here. Control R again, left click, right click for it to be centered, and then we're gonna put one on the side Press Control R, left click, right click to center. And you can see already that it's closer to the shape of the Funko Pop. If you want, if you have these vertices on, you can press one to have the vertices, two to have the edges, and three to have the faces, or you can select them up here. Right now we want the vertices selected. And we're gonna press G, Y to move that along just the Y. Bring this over a little bit too. You don't want it to be so blocky, but you also don't want it to be a total sphere by the end of it. So you can just play around with this until it's the shape and size that you want it to be. If you press Option and click this edge, then we can press GG to slide it over just to see kind of how it looks. If you bring it a little bit more towards the center, it gets even closer to that look we're looking for. And again, you can get as detailed as you want with this. I'm just gonna stop there for the time being. I know it's not perfection, but play around with it until you have it exactly the shape you want it to be. If 
go back into x-ray mode to see the size, go back into the front mode, you'll notice that the entire thing is just a bit too big. So we can press A to select everything, S, and then scale it down a bit. You're kind of just trying to line this up by tracing it against your reference image. So I lied and I am going back in here to get this a little bit more detailed, but that looks pretty decent as a starting point. So I'll press tab to go back into object mode, then right click and click shade smooth. And now we're gonna make the eyes. So you can press shift A, make sure you're in object mode to make this happen. Then go to the mesh, go to the cube, and we are gonna once again press control three for that subdivision surface modifier. Press G and C to bring it up. And let's turn the x-ray mode back on so we can see what's going on here. And let's align that center point with the center of the eye. So press G and X to bring it over and G and Z to bring it down a bit. Then we're gonna press S to scale it down so it's about the same size. And then if you go to the side, you'll see that it's in the middle of the head. So we'll press G and Y to bring it out to the front. And then we're gonna scale on the Y. So S and Y to flatten things out and make it more like the actual eye shape of the Funko Pop. We know that it's lined up now, so let's take the X-ray mode off and let's rotate it on the Z a little bit. So R, Z, just a bit. And we're gonna rotate it on the X a little bit, I believe. So G, X, oh, my bad. R, X. And then we're gonna bring it back again, G, Y. And you can tell when it's gonna be flat on the face so that it's not covered up there. So right there, it looks pretty decent. I think we gotta bring it back just a little bit more. G, Y. You can hold shift if you wanna make more incremental movements inside of Blender. See how that looks. I think we need to rotate it on the Z a little bit more. And we're gonna bring it back just a little bit more. And that's decent. Gonna right click, we're gonna shade smooth. We're gonna go to the wrench here, add a mirror modifier. Grab this pipette, I believe it's called. Click the head or the cube object and then it will mirror along that. Go back into the front view, decent start. And from here we're gonna press Shift A again. I'm gonna add a plane, this is gonna be used for the eyebrows. And we're gonna press RX90 to rotate it. We're gonna go back into x-ray mode so we can see where the eyebrows are actually at. We're gonna scale this way down by pressing S and then just moving the cursor. Press G and Z to bring it up. G and X to bring it over. Rotate your camera a bit. G and Y to bring it to the front of the head. A little bit more. And now we're just going to go back in the front view, rotate it a bit, scale it down a little bit. You're pressing R to rotate and S to scale. Move it up just a bit. And then we're gonna press tab to go into edit mode. This time we're gonna press two to bring up the edge mode over here. And we're gonna click this edge, we're gonna press E to extrude. Press S to scale it down a little bit. Again, pressing Shift to make those incremental changes. I'm actually gonna bring, press G and Z to bring it down a little bit. We're gonna press R to rotate this face slightly. 
and that's too much, whatever. E to extrude, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale it down a bit, G, Z to bring it down with that eyebrow, R to rotate it, and E to pull it over. S to scale that end of the eyebrow down a bit, and probably want to bring this down a little bit, GZ, GG, GG, rotate, and you got to play around with this a bit to get it all lined up. Again, shift is going to make those incremental changes if your mouse is kind of moving things all over the place. I'm gonna press A or S to scale this down a little bit. And that's good enough for me. I'm gonna press A to select it all. Then I'm gonna press E to extrude to give it some thickness. And then we're gonna press A again. And we're gonna press Control 3 for the subdivision. Oh. Press a again, we're gonna go back into object mode. We're gonna press control three to add that subdivision surface modifier. And as you can see, we've got a smooth eyebrow now. Maybe you don't want it to be that smooth. It's up to you, up to your preference. I think I'd like it to be a little bit squared off here, but save that for another day. And you can see it's floating out in front of the head. So make sure you've got the eyebrow selected again, come back into edit mode. G, Y to pull it closer to the head. Let's rotate it a little bit on the Z. And G, Y. And we're gonna go into face mode by pressing three to change this into the face selection tool. Press option to select all the faces around each one of these edges, option and shift. And then we're gonna G Y to bring that closer and we're gonna rotate, whoa, not that crazy. Rotate on the Z. G Y and there's instances like this where you could use a shrink wrap modifier, but every time I've tried it with this, it ends up just having the eyebrow sunk into the face. So that's why I'm avoiding that here if you are aware of that modifier. Go back into front view, see how your eyebrow looks. Looks all right. I'm gonna go back into object mode. Gonna hit the wrench again. Gonna go here. Hit the mirror once again, a little pipette. Go to the object cube, click that. You got two eyebrows. Wow. Um, the next step, the way I've been doing this is pressing Shift A to add a cube. Pressing G, Z to bring it up. Pressing R, Z, 45 so that you've got the bridge of the nose there. And then we're gonna rotate it on the X a little bit. We're gonna press S to scale it down. Press G, Y to bring it back out. I think we're gonna to need to move to the side to do that. And obviously that nose is ridiculous now, but we're gonna line it up. So G, Z to bring it down and G, Y to bring it back here we need to probably like that is good enough yeah so there are more detailed ways to make the nose but I feel like that one is quick and easy so I think we might want to bring those two sides over a bit so let's take this let's go front view Let's go vertices. This is trippy, bro. And we're gonna bring 
and this one in a little bit. GX. GX. It's a bit hard to see like this, but. You get the point. Not perfect, but it will suffice. If you really want to get that to be totally perfect, it's up to you. Go crazy. The ears, the last step. Not so difficult here. Press Shift A. Let's go back into object mode first. Let's press Shift A to bring in a cylinder. Now we've got this giant trash can under our guy. Let's press SZ to scale it down and flatten it out. And then we're gonna press RX90 again. We're gonna press GZ to bring it up. We're gonna press S to scale it way down. We're gonna press GX, pull it over to the right. And then we are going to press SX to scale it so it's not a perfect circle, so it's more of an oval shape. And then we're gonna rotate it just a little bit. I'm gonna press GX, I think I rotated it a little bit too much. Scale it down a little bit more. GZ to bring it down. And you got your ear there, but we're gonna make that ear a little bit more detailed. So press tab to go into edit mode. Press three so you have the faces. And select this front face. Then press I to create an inset, but you don't want it to be too much. Just like that is fine. Press E and hold shift so you don't make it go too far back, so you're not all the way through the ear, but just a little bit there. We go back to the back side here. Grab this face, also at an inset. Press shift. And instead of extruding this time by pressing E, we're gonna press G and Y and just bring it back ever so slightly. Then we're gonna press tab to go back into object mode. We're gonna hit our favorites control three to add that subdivision surface modifier. I'm gonna remove the blank there now. And we're gonna also go to this wrench, add the mirror once again grab the pipette, click on the cube, go into front view, boom, there's your head. If you think those ears are a little bit too rotated, like I think I am now, you can rotate them back up a little bit. You can scale them down a little bit. Uh, you know, knock yourself out. So that is the head. And the next one, we'll be moving on to the body, then some legs, some arms, some hands, some clothes, and I'll see you then. If you got anything out of this, please like and subscribe.